Hello guys, so now I'll be installing Anaconda in our Windows machine. Just open your browser and then just type Anaconda and it will redirect you or open your browse uh, Google um, search engine or any search engine then just type in Anaconda or directly go to anaconda.org so it will uh, show you this one and just click on download Anaconda it will redirect you to this site automatically I think it will show you um, the installer for your current machine so since I'm running Windows so it will show Windows here you can also download for your Mac Linux no? and you can also I think if you click on this one it will show you the different installers here so I'll be downloading of course uh, the Windows version the graphical installer so in some um, operating system you, you, there's a command line only so you can download it so I'll be let's wait for this one to be downloaded it might take some time so once it's downloaded you can click on the installer and it will show you this window just click on the next button then I can read the software license agreement then just uh, click agree if you agree with the statement I uh, can change this one depending on your setup if you have multiple users you can click all users so if you're just using one user you can just click on this one so if you click on just me it will be installed in this folder I think if you choose uh, click on this for all user it will ask for admin and it will be installed in the program data I think uh, it's better to install it in the users so I'll open again agree and then I just check for just me since I'm the only one using this machine and all the installer will be installed under my folder and then you can add an account the path variable if you like uh, so that you don't need to path it so I'll just leave it unchecked so register an account that three as my default Python 3.9 so you can check or uncheck this one depending on your need so this will allow other programs such as Python tools for Visual Studio so on and so forth so I just leave it as it is and then click install so it will install the file and let's wait so after installing this one let's run a notebook Jupyter notebook and then try to perform a short program So the installation is complete. So I click next, then next again. You can uncheck this too if you want to read on the documentation. You can just leave it there. So it will just open this window or site for documentation and some. information so let's open our anak on the here so this is the navigator it this is a user interface wherein you can check on the different libraries that you have installed and so on and so forth the first one run it may take some time
And here is our nav- Anaconda Navigator. You can check on the environment here. And it will show you all the installed libraries here. So there's already an update. So I think that's better. Let's update this one. So from 3.1, 2.3.1 is now 2.3.2. Of course, it will download some of files needed, and it, it's already finished. Just click launch. So this may take an, uh, another time. Let's wait. Yeah. So there's our user interface again. Again, if these are the different applications and um, accessories that are part of the Anaconda, you can launch them or install them if not yet installed. So I'll click on the environment. These are all the install library. Here you can check if the one that you need is not yet installed you need to install it so you just click uninstalled here so it will show you all uninstalled package then you can search actually which package you need so it might not yet be showing some of the Anna because you just installed it now so maybe it's still fetching some information now. So let's try to look for options. So there you have it. Uh, in case you want to install something not using the Anaconda Navigator, you can actually just go to this um, Anaconda prompt. So you can install using Anaconda prompt. Just click on uh, or just issue the command pip install or conda install. You can look uh, for the website on how to install different packages or libraries depending on your needs and let's run one application or one program let's run. let's open the Jupyter notebook and create a encode something so this is my user and then this is the anaconda the folder uh, it contains all the settings about the anaconda so I'll be using my documents then I just create here a new file so I select this one and then we will be redirected to this page page no? so you can rename the file for example hello world then just perform like print hello world So that's it. So that's how you uh, install the Anaconda Navigator and run Jupyter. And of course, print Hello World. So if you're going to install your Anaconda to your Windows machine, I hope this video helped you. And I'll see you in the next one.